implement the concept of a virtual function design three classes named person student and professor the person class is with data member name and student with data member cgpa and professor with data member appraisal score both student and professor must derive from person class include a virtual function named get data to accept values for data members and a pure virtual function named find outstanding to return performance status of student and professor depending on cgpa and appraisal score value so in this program the person class which is a base class must have a virtual function which is named as get data and a pure virtual function named find outstanding virtual function allows a function to be overridden in the derived classes so get data function can be overridden inside the student and professor class similarly find outstanding is a pure virtual function inside the person class so we must override find outstanding inside the student and professor derived classes since we are including find outstanding as a pure virtual function inside the person class the base class so the person class becomes an abstract class so we won't be able to create a general object for person class a normal object cannot be created so we can only create a pointer object the virtual function allows a, a function can be overridden in the derived classes so here overriding get data function in the derived classes and the virtual function allows to access the derived class overridden function by using a pointer object of base class depending upon the pointer object is holding the address of a particular derived class object that leads to dynamic binding or runtime polymorphism first we are creating a class which is named as person which is a base class next we have to create two derived class from person the first one is student so we are creating a class student class student colon public person that means student is a class which created from person base class another derived class we are creating which is named as professor that also derived from person class so we write class professor colon public person so we have a base class person and from person class we have two derived class one is student and another is professor inside the person class we have data member name which is a character array in the public section we are writing virtual function the name of the virtual function is get data so the virtual function need to be written with a keyword virtual followed by the function prototype which is return type is void and get data is a function name now inside the get data function we are accepting the value of data member from the user the data member is name so by using a scene statement we accept the value of name from user the virtual function allows the get data method to be overridden inside the derived classes and it can be called by using the pointer object of base class which is person class next we are declaring pure virtual function in the base class the pure virtual functions does not have any definition in the base class but it must be overridden in the derived classes the pure virtual function can be declared by using the keyword virtual followed by the function prototype the return type is string and find outstanding is a function equal 0 because there is no definition for pure virtual function in the base class now in the derived class student we have a data member which is named as cgpa we are overriding in the public section we are overriding the virtual function get data while the virtual function is getting override in the derived class we should not use a virtual keyword similarly for pure virtual function while we are overriding the virtual function in the derived class the virtual keyword should not be used in the get data method first we call the get data method of the person class to access the value of name 
Then after that, we take the data member value CGPA by using CIN statement. Next, we are overriding find outstanding method. Find outstanding is a pure virtual function, which is overriding inside the derived class student. So we must override find outstanding in the derived class student because it's a pure virtual function in the base class. If a pure virtual function is there in the base class, it must be overridden in the derived class. So in find outstanding, we are checking whether CGPA is greater than 7.5 then we return outstanding. Otherwise, we return not outstanding. Similarly, in the professor class, first we are declaring the data member for storing the value of appraisal score, which is a float data type. The data member name is appraisal score. In the public section, first we are overriding get data virtual function. So we write void get data, which is used to accept the value of appraisal score. So before we are getting the data of professor appraisal score, first we accept the name. So in order to accept the name, we have to call get data of person class. So person score resolution get data which will make the get data function of the person class get call. After that, we accept the value of appraisal score by using scene statement. We accept the value of appraisal score from user. Appraisal score is ranging from zero to 100. In the professor class, we must override find outstanding method, which is a pure virtual function of the base class, the pure virtual function from person class. So we must override find outstanding in the professor class. So return data type of find outstanding is string. We check whether the appraisal score is greater than 75. If so, we return outstanding else we return not outstanding now the important of virtual function or pure virtual function is the virtual functions can be called by using a pointer object of the base class pointer object can hold the address of a derived class object Depending upon the pointer object of the base class holding the address of which particular derived class, the respective method will get called. So first we create a pointer object for person class. OBJ is a pointer object for the base class, which is person. Two objects are created for the derived class, student and professor. The student class object is ST and professor class object is PF. first we have to do for students so we make the pointer object obj to point to the address of student object so obj equal address of st and then we call get data method now the get data method will get called currently will be from student class the student class get data method will get called because the pointer object is current the pointer object of person class is currently pointing the address of student object and similarly we call obj find outstanding so it will call find outstanding of student class similarly for professor detail first the obj should point the address of 
professor object. So we write obj equal address of pf. Then after that, we call obj get data and obj find outstanding. It will call get data and find outstanding of professor class. So in line number 45 and 50, we can see that we are calling obj get data. It looks the same, but it produces a different result. First, it will take the details of student. Second, it takes the detail of professor. Similarly, obj find outstanding function call. It looks the same, but it produces a different result. First, it will find the outstanding score of student. Second, it will find outstanding score of professor, depending upon appraisal value. So it is known as dynamic binding, wherein which the function call depends upon the object the currently the pointer is pointing to. So that leads to dynamic binding or runtime polymorphism. Execute and see the program output.